So in this video, I'll take you through, we're going to replace the side cow panels on this uh, 71 Barracuda. We're also going to replace, uh, pull off and replace this top cow panel with this new AMD one. Um, we we'll also do uh, repair a lot of patches on the lower cow panel. We pulled this apart. Whoever did the work before just didn't do a good work job and the car set out in the rain and this whole channel you see rusted. So we put a bunch of patches on here and the firewall. Um, it still needs a little bit of work to be cleaned up, but I think all in all the project come out pretty good. So check it out, stay tuned and see how we did it. So to start the process, we're grinding out the cow side panel. You could obviously see all the rust in it and why it's being removed. Um, the panel actually goes all the way to the A-pillars. Uh, you could see when we install it, I don't install the whole panel. Just because you buy a whole panel doesn't mean you have to use it. The top portion of this panel was good and uh, it just, to pull the A pillar off and get under it, I mean, there was no need to go that far in this route. Right now, what I'm doing, I'm grinding out the um, lip right there for where the panel slides over the side kicker panel. Um, I'm doing it this way just so I don't hurt the metal underneath. Um, there's m many ways to do this, drilling spot wells at the time. This was just the easiest way for me to do it. Just easy on the grinder and you're working heat out and just pulling it off with vice grips. Again, just trimming up the panel, little here, little there. Pulling off the excess pieces. And now just working my way in the bottom. Same thing, just cleaning it up, getting it ready to start building all these pieces in here. I could have bought this inside panel, but um, it, for the cost of it, most of it's in good shape. You could see I cut out the rocker panel. We're gonna have a, do a patch there. And I also cut out in this picture, the lower portion of the inside panel that we'll do another patch. Here we are welding in the rocker panel patch I made that was uh, a little messed up. Just put in 316 holes, we'll spot weld where the factory does. Um, you couldn't see it weld, just spot welded it in. And what I did, I, did, I TIG welded the outside edge. A lot of times a TIG welder is going to be faster because you can make it one pass after it's tacked and cleanup's a lot quicker. So that's why I go back and forth. I usually have both welders plugged in, ready to go, and I just rotate back and forth between them. So just finishing this up, we'll move on to the next step. We're welding this one last seam up under. The side kicker panel's gonna cover all this, so I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. I wanna keep the strength in there. Um, just getting it roughed in, and then we'll get the weld through primer on here. Um, you don't have to clean it. I just, I wanted to make sure nothing stuck out so that side kicker panel sits flush against this rocker because that's where it's going to weld right on that bottom piece I was just cleaning up. And just take a flap dish just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And here's the piece I'm test fitting in. I made um, just hammer and dolly. Um, again, it wasn't worth buying that whole piece. And I skipped ahead, here's the passenger side, what I had to cut out of the other one. The piece I made on this side, same thing, hammer and dolly, just kind of working the edges around. Um, fast forward, we're on the uh, driver's side now, just tacking in the side rocker panel over here, just skipping around a little bit. Um, both sides are exactly the same, so I did the, the passenger side's already done. We're onto the driver's side. It's the same process, just mirror it over. So, like I said, I jump back and forth so you see what's going on. You don't need to see the same process twice. Um, main thing, there's a couple guide areas that, you know, just got to line up the curve in the bottom. And again, just 316 holes, plug welding every inch and a half or so, inch and a quarter. Um, and just running it right down. You want good penetration on the back side. And what I like to try to do is either work in the middle of a panel and work your way out or start here. I was starting top down on both sides 
just so I don't have any indentation in the panel or any parts sticking up. You know, it wouldn't be good to work from the outside in, you get to the middle and the panel's kind of trying to poke up a little bit. And what you could see, the panel fits really good, but right there on the edge of the rocker, I had to cut the lip because it was just sticking out a little too far. No matter how good the tooling is on these panels, you're going to have to adjust it a little bit. And, you know, that just makes the job a lot better. And here I am finishing the job TIG weld in it. Um, just messing with the power settings a little bit. But burn that in, you're never going to know when it's all said and done. And the panel just fits that much better. Here's the final shot of the passenger side and the driver's side. All done, cleaned up, bare metal. Um, I did a couple patches on the front. And here we are moving on to cutting out the cow panel. You can see all the rust in the top and why we decided to replace it. There's pit holes everywhere in this thing. Um, so went ahead and go ahead, just gonna cut it out. Um, what I'm doing, I'm making sure I'm not cutting the bottom lower cow panel or anything else that it's um, weld it into I'm just cutting the panel in the negative area first and there you go you can see I actually re-drilled out these spot welds before I started doing this so that's why they're coming out real easy and I'm just using the air hammer just finish it out and I say the two cow brackets I'm gonna reuse those pieces as you can see it's a little bit rougher than I thought a lot of rust holes everything um, that vent on the Passion side is pretty ate up. We're gonna build a new one of those. Here's the process of me building the new vent. I brazed it in there, put some curve to match it. Um, we got rust converter on this panel and everything. Um, and here we are. We decided to put in epoxy primer after the rust converter. It sat for 24 hours. Um, I DA'd this down with a 120 grit. Um, that's what the epoxy primer calls for just to make it stick really well and I went with the epoxy primer I think that's going to be the one of the far superior bare metal primers and this area I just don't want it to be susceptible to rusting again so that's why we went this route and uh, it should last for a while all right here we are done with the epoxy primer it's still drying but I'll do a quick walk around I built that vent right there um, kind of give it a little more arch to mimic the factory I also um, brazed it in there but it's a uh, it's good um, we're gonna leave the factory spot weld holes I'm gonna come through the back and use them as guide holes as I drill um, and put my clamps through them and then I'm gonna weld the opposite way and th that's how we'll cover up. So we're gonna weld in all the factory spot welds. I'm gonna probably add a few more. I got three patches there that I did. I didn't weld the bottom of it. What I'm gonna do is the upper cow panel. That's about right in the middle of the upper cow panel where the seam goes. So I'm gonna use the upper cow panel as a backing weld from inside of the car. And it's just gonna be a stronger weld when I clean it up. Um, but the top of the welds are pretty much cleaned up for the most part where I did the patchwork. Um, there's some pitting in the, the panel, but it's gonna be fine. It's not gonna rust anymore. Um, there was a there was a big patch I had to do with all the rust. Um, I left a little bit of weld exposed. It just gives a stronger weld. I don't have to worry about breaking. And honestly, this and that vent over there is gonna be under area of the cow panel that you'll never see. So we just know from this video what it looks like. Same thing with that upper area I left that I take that and that was uh, I left it a little exposed but um, there it is there's no major rust on it anymore this cow panel uh, the lower cow and firewall was at a point I was thinking about replacing it but uh, we decided to fix it I might hammer the, the brake area out a little bit more and fix that um, and if we look through the back side do some work up there and on the inside same thing you can see the three areas that we're gonna weld through from this side right through the middle of the cow panel. Um, there was a patch over there, and then the patch right here, which we'll clean up when the car gets on the rotisserie. So there it is, next step, we'll get the upper cow panel installed once this dries. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna sand down the seams everywhere I'm gonna weld and put weld through primer, because this epoxy is not gonna be good for weld through. It's just mostly to protect the inside of the cow panel. 
You can see my wife and I are going to put the new cow panel on. Um, she's helping me. It was just easier with two hands on all these bigger panels. And uh, it makes the video go a little bit quicker because you're seeing twice the amount of work. Uh, key to a lot of these panels is clamps. Clamps, clamps, vice grips, all different kind of things to hold panels in place. Um, we got the fasteners on the front uh, with 8 inch holes holding the whole front pre-drilled. Um, this cow panel was obviously already on this car. I pulled it off, put the weld through primer on it. Um, everything's a lot test fitting, put it on, pull it off. Um, and we're just clamping it down. When you do that, this part, obviously it makes it go a lot easier as the panel is already in place and now we start welding. Um, what I do, I just, again, I was saying this earlier, I start in the middle of a panel, I'll pull one of the clamps out, tap it down, push it down, however I get it flush, and just make sure there's no issues, and I just start welding. Working my way towards the outside, it's a process. I mean, it takes a little bit. This video is obviously sped up a whole bunch. But if you do this, I mean, the out, final outcome just looks so much better when you take your time and you, you know, you, you plan on what you're going to do and the best way to execute panels like this. Um, so I sit here and I work towards the apron on that side. And then I start again by the wiper motor. I'm going to work towards the driver's side apron out. And then what I did, there's a, a spot on the upper windshield where that's my guide mark up top. I have a bracket that was left on the car. That's what I want to make sure it's lined up to make sure it's centered. Um, everything else, it's kind of, you know, it goes with the guides, but that one inside with the dashboard, that's what's going to center on the car. So that was the first thing we actually um, aligned before we started messing with this thing. And what we're looking, when we put it in there, it looked like it went in real easy. I probably have 30, 40 minutes just making sure it's right, getting the clamps right, the right height, everything. Um, so this is a process. Take your time if you're doing something like this and figure it's probably going to sit in there four or five times. You're going to move it around, clamp it, sit back. You're going to find an area you don't like. So be prepared for that. It's, that's fairly normal. And here we are, finished welding that up. And uh, we're going to start working on the top. And same, same process. Just move. This one was easier because I could use the clamps and weld right in between the clamps to help hold it down. I didn't have to hit them as much. Um, and if you can do that, the clamps, just use them to your advantage. It makes life so much easier. Um, you want to, again, make sure your welds are got enough heat, penetrating good. Um, and uh, this panel, you can check the back of them and see where it was. We'll do a quick walk around. I got all the metal work done on the cow panel on the CUDA. Um, you can see it's all welded in and cleaned up in the window channel. Followed the weld right down over there. I have the brackets going from the cow to the front apron area. Everything you saw in the last video is welded and cleaned on the firewall. Those patches down there you can barely see a little bit of that weld, which I'll get put a little bit of putty on there just to smooth it out. But you see the rest of it's cleaned up. Once it's in primer, you won't even be able to tell. Cal panel fit really good. Like the rest of the AMD parts, I'm very happy with them. We got that bracket welded on. Following right around, the bracket's over there. Right down the window channel, got the top on there. And if you look at the inside, everything, that was that patch on the inside. All the areas where the weld come through is pretty much cleaned up. Still gotta go over it a little bit, but we'll wait till it gets on a rotisserie. Those patches that I welded from the inside, like I said, they're cleaned up now. All the way down. So there it is. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll move on to this front of this car. I uh, got some more stuff to do in the engine bay. And uh, so stay tuned, like our video, subscribe, and uh, we appreciate you watching.